All right, what's up guys? We're going to talk about two major aspects of improvisational solos, okay? This is going to be great blues, rock, whatever it is. Um, and we're going to touch on uh, both the rhythmic phrases and, and, and hard motifs. And then we're also going to talk about what I call segue phrases. Now, what I mean by segue phrases are if I, let me, I'm just going to kind of throw, throw an example. If I have... Right? And then... Right? If I, if I keep going with that rhythmic phrase, it's going to get tired. You need something to break it up. What happens now after we learn rhythmic phrasing is once we start breaking up the rhythmic phrasing, we get super lost and just start throwing notes at it. And I want to get a little bit more pattern in there. So we're going to touch on both sides of that. Let's get into it. Um, I do still want to start um, with the rhythmic phrase lesson because I want to have everything in this video. So how I, how I do it is, and you would be surprised, I, I have students that can shred around me. These guys are fast. They got tapping down. But what they cannot do, believe it or not, is clap out a repeating phrase. It's unreal. And, 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 and what happens is when our clapping, our rhythmic phrase, no notes, just the rhythmic uh, motif needs to be so strong to add notes on top of it. If it's not, you're just throwing random notes and it sounds like a guy fell asleep at the wheel and the car has absolutely no direction, okay? So we wanna get direction on now both sides of impro uh, improvising. So um, what I have my students do is if we have, I just have them do And then you'd be surprised at how many people cannot do four of the same clapping phrases and then f another four and then another four over and over and over. Um, once that becomes comfortable, which I'm sure for you guys is going to be very easy, we then mm -hmm. add only the root, root notes. So I'm going to change it a little bit. right? Until that gets solidified. Then we start figuring out, do I want the pitches to go higher? Do I want them to go lower? Right now it's starting to form into an actual um, musical expression. Whereas if I come right in, it's got no direction, right? And the more I add notes in there, the less direction it's going to have. It actually like dilutes it. So we want to get it down to this kind of rhythm. So what happens is now your, your ear starts getting involved and saying like, okay, well, maybe I want it to be like, all right, right? And then that starts developing and then pick another four and another four and kind of go from there. It sounds so basic, but I want you guys to develop that muscle so much, okay? So that is going to be one part of it. The other part, like I say, it's kind of like you, if you if you stay too long in there, if I do, if I kind of do that, It's like, okay, all right, I need a little bit of something else. Now that's, and I haven't gotten into this part of the solos before. Now we start saying, all right, we got to get out of that, that lane. We got to get into a new, new lane on the highway. Well, instead of, again, this, this lends itself a little bit more to the drift, the drifting around and not having any direction. I want to get into a little bit more pattern building. So then you have the strength over here, right? And then you have the strength over here and then you're just jumping back and picking a few and kind of driving in both lanes at the same time. All right. So 
um, let's strengthen this muscle right here. We're going to use the pentatonic, our A pentatonic. I believe I'm tuned down half a step, or I might not even, I might be like somewhere in between. I'm not going to lie, this guitar is not great. I, uh, I glued, it, <laughs> glued it back together. I took this thing to Europe like four times. Um, but we're going to use the pentatonic. We're going to use um, pattern building, the pentatonic. The first one that I absolutely love is going up the pentatonic um, in a three note pattern. And all that really means is if I were to count the pentatonic, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, all the way up all the strings, um, what, uh, and that's not the actual Roman numerals. I'm literally just counting each note of the pentatonic. I'm just gonna do one, two, three, two, three, four, four, five, or one, two, three, two, three, four, three, four, five, four, five, six, all the way up that pattern. So you're playing the three, go back one, Next three. Now, even though it's in a three note pattern, I want it to still be over four. So you're just gonna blend them together. All right, and then you can go down. I always do something weird there at the end. Um, so that is pattern number one. Now, just like the example I gave with the rhythmic phrasing, when I stuck too much to it and it started to get boring, that would be the same thing here. If I were going to use that as a little segue, right, you're kind of like touching on it a little bit, but then pulling it back. So I just want you, but that, that's why I want you to develop the pattern muscle so that you guys are going to be able to pull these out whenever you want, whenever you feel it's time to get away from the rhythmic phrasing lane of the highway. Um, another one that I really like is just the, some of these are going to be super simple because um, this is going to be a little bit for all levels is just a double hammer on and then pull offs right just all the way up and down um, my favorite is actually this so the pattern is going to be um, you're going to play the upper note of the pentatonic on the first and second string and then the lower note. Now, luckily the lower notes are always gonna be fives. So upper pentatonic, first and second, and then lower first and second. And then you're gonna move upper notes, second and third, and then lower notes, second and third. And then third and fourth, third and fourth, okay, like that. So it goes like this. If you guys watch, I'm gonna start right here. I'm gonna go nice and slow. Eight, eight, five, five, switch. Eight, seven, five, five. Seven, seven, five, five, seven, seven, five, five, seven, eight, five, five. All right, and that one's real cool. Let me see if I can get a little speed on it. Right, it's got a nice little little um, mixture. The 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 note jumping is is what I really like about it. Right, it adds like a little bit more flavor to it. So that's super cool. You can go the other direction. Um, I've never actually really done it, but like the lower notes. Five, five, eight, seven, five, five, seven, seven, five, five, seven, seven, five, five. Right, and again, I wouldn't go up and down that. Um, I would just take little segments of that depending on where you are in, in your solo, literally where you are, like the actual. Right, kind of throwing it in there. Um, let's see, another one that... Uh, that I always take is if you try to go um, in fours instead of the threes. So now you have like one, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, three, four, five, six, right? And just go up and down that pattern. I love that one as well. So now what you're doing is you're you have over here, like we were saying, your hard motif, your 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 melody building, the things that are going to make your solos. Um, singable and and memorable. That's why people love like the Hotel California solo, you know, um, and stuff like that. And really, it's why people love music. I mean, if you you know, for all of us, I know there's a lot of guitar players in here that probably listen to pop music, probably listen to rock music. You know, if you had like a, a Led Zeppelin song, you know, like Communication Breakdown, and every single line was completely different from the next, and the chorus never repeated, you'd be like, what the hell is this? It was just like a, didn't make any sense. So same deal when, when you're playing your guitar solos, all right? So now you're gonna go hard back and forth, all right? So let me give you an example, so.
right? So it's got a little bit of both. Now I'm gonna go um, hard uh, either side. So. <laughs> 